Okay, so my buddy Paul, the small workshop guy, had an idea, presented it to me saying, hey, what should I do if i am got some project, and I'm letting the glue set, or I've got to wait for something to happen here, and what can I do just to kind of offset all the stiffness being in the workshop is going to do for me? So here's three simple things that you could do while the glue is setting. One is open up your ankles because believe it or not, if you're stiff in the ankles, you're going to be stiff in the hips and that's going to be giving you a lot of stiffness in the lower back. So you're just going to be resting on that workbench, take one foot and you're just going to roll the ankle almost like you just stepped in a gopher hole. Now as you roll that ankle outward, you're going to put a little bit of pressure down into that leg so you feel a little bit of a stretch just on the outside portion below the ankle bone. You're going to do that for maybe about 30 seconds or so. Get that tissue to kind of open up. Maybe do the same thing with the other side. And be sure just to lean against that bench. Give yourself a little bit of stability and balance. And do that a little bit. You'd be surprised how tension how it builds up in that ankle and how all that tissue just starts to bind up. But as soon as you do that a little bit, then walk around the workshop a little bit. See how that feels. Probably going to feel maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit more open. Now something else you can do with the, the bench itself, the work table, is you're just going to place your hands on it. You're going to walk on back, get your feet about hip or shoulder width apart, and you're just going to push the hips back and imagine that there is a weight dangling from the center of your rib cage, right in the center of the chest like a plumb bob, and it is pulling that chest down toward the ground while you try and keep your legs fairly straight. So essentially creating a nice right angle at the hips while your arms are pressing you away from the bench. It's pushing the hips away from the table too. And then number three, we're going to work on opening up the neck and shoulders. So what you can do is you're going to curl your fingers in, place your first two knuckles, index finger, middle finger, outside the eyes against that soft patch we call the temples. And with your thumbs pointing down, palms facing forward, you're going to see if you can bring those elbows all the way together and then all the way back by your side. At first, if you're stiff through the shoulders from throwing hammers around all day or working on a workbench, whatever it is, you might find that you can only go so far. But keep at it. Keep on working it because eventually those elbows are going to touch and you're going to free up a lot of tension up in the neck and shoulder region. So we just worked on the ankles a little bit. We opened up the hips and lower back and we opened up the shoulders all while the glue has just set. Give these a shot. Let me know how it goes.